Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. With Hack 5, I'm Shannon Morse coming to you from CES 2012, and I found the Leonardo booth. Hey, Zach. How's it going? How's it going, guys? Are you doing all right over here? I, I am doing more than all right. So uh, what are you working on? I have no idea. What, what, do you, what do you want to call this? I have no idea what this is. This is it's a 3D design program that I'm doing. It looks like a dragon from Skyrim, kind of. <laughs> Let's go with that. If, if this ends up in Skyrim, I'll be happy. Okay, so this looks really cool and it actually looks kind of easy and it's in 3D. So tell me about this technology. What is this software? Well, first off, um, this is Leonardo. Um, this is a brand new technology that just came out. Uh, here, let me take my glasses off. Um, yeah. So this is a brand new technology that came out, um, gosh, about a year ago. And it's just been flooding the market. To give you an idea of how awesome this is, that guy was a circle uh, maybe four hours ago. What? Are you kidding me? Uh, this was, yeah. The, the level of detail and, and intensity that you can get from this kind of a program at, at you know, with, with knowing very little is just unbelievable. Let me, let me give you an example of how freaking awesome this program is, okay? Let me just show you. Go ahead and, go ahead and watch this guy for me, okay? Is this guy up? Okay, so we have, a, we have a sphere that you are creating. Sphere. And here we go. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks like it has hair. Uh, oh, couple of eyes. All right. And and we have a nose. A little mouth. Oh, it's it looks like a tongue. Or maybe a very large chin. Oh, it's Jay Leno. <gasps> Exactly, yes! exactly. It's kind of like, uh, what's that game you play with your friends when you're really drunk and you act out stuff and you can't say anything? Charades? Yeah, it's charades. There you go. So it's charades with 3D. The, basically, the greatest thing is, is that if you look here at the wireframe here, um, for any of those modelers out there, you know that the level of detail uh, in something like this, in something so free-flowing like this, takes hours upon hours upon hours upon hours. I just did that in, what, five, ten seconds? Yeah. Something like that. What I'm familiar with with uh, 3D like graphic simulations like this is you have to take every single point and move them separately, and it seemed like you were just able to press one area and everything kind of floated in together. Yeah. If you look here, um, each of these each of these lines on here has a has a vertice at the center of it, and that's what you're talking about. You grab the point, you pull it. Grab the point, you pull it. Can you imagine how long it'd take you to make this by grabbing points and pulling it? I would pull my hair out, and I already have none. So, <laughs> you know. So I mean, it's it's just it's it's fantastic the Leonardo software brings the organic artistic nature into a digital world and it's it's a 2.0 stage right now and it's already exploding so it, you can expect huge things from this software that's incredible and I think this this model right here has more polygons than the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time <laughs> video game completely combined so is this on the market right now for like just consumers to buy or universities or what have you uh, yeah actually um, to be honest with you, I'm actually not an employee of Leonardo, of Leonardo. I am a student um, at the University of Iowa, right there, go Hawks. Um, and um, so uh, I'm in the 3D design department and basically what happened was is that as soon as we heard about this product, we were there. We're like, hey, we want this. We want to get on it. And we got it. The first day we sat down, we got about three hours of teaching and the next day we came back and we could all make stuff like this. You know, I'm a junior in college. I've had about three classes to teach me 3D design and I've already made, you know, things like my my dragon guys so you know it's just like it, it it's unbelievable the amount of detail that you can get from something so simple you know so so revolutionary and again like I said it's just you're gonna see so much out of this you're gonna be see so much out of this because you can get so much detail for so little knowledge and it's so free-flowing and artistic so yeah. yeah I can see how this is going to be perfect for like anybody that wants to develop their own video games or create their own 3d models I saw you printed some out over there and they looked yeah. incredible Yep. So how much does the software with the, uh, I don't know what this thing is, a bird? <laughs> it looks kind of like a bird. Yeah, you the you the painter? The yeah, yeah, okay. tell me about it. So so basically you've got, your, your setup is you've got these three little things on the screen here, and they track when you wear the glasses. 
put these on. Look, I super geek. Um, you take these, yeah. <laughs> you take these glasses, and they have sensors in them, and it tracks the sensors. So if I'm square to the screen here, and I get my add and remove tool, and I just pull the alien thing out of his chest, which you'll see here in a second. The way it works is that the sensors on the screen here, um, they register the the placement of the glasses in in relation to the screen. So let's say you know I can't see the back of his leg somewhere or whatever. I can move my head. Oh, and now I can see the back of his leg. You know. So not only do I move the actual camera, I can move my head as well. And it's all about bringing the organic and natural sculpting feeling to the digital world. And, and by far, the Leonardo company has accomplished this. Wow, okay, so we have sculpting, we got augmented reality, 3D, creativity, graphics developing, video gaming, yeah! Exactly. Gonna see some new Final Fantasy characters on here sure, <laughs> shortly, I'm very soon. Okay, so how much does it cost? Right now, I believe the retail is $13.50. It is a little expensive for consumers, yeah. but... I know! <laughs> That's all you have to do. Point at it and say, I'm sold. This is gorgeous. Where can people find out more information? Uh, the Leonardo uh, website, which I don't know off the top of my head. It's right there. Hang on. You want to do that again? No. Okay. All right. So uh, the uh, Leonardo website, it's uh, leleonardo.com, and there's a three in there somewhere. So Google it. <laughs> Google it. All right. You heard it first, leonardo.com with a three in there somewhere. Thank you so much, Zach, for speaking to me about this software. It's incredible, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and get creative with some Final Fantasy characters. All right. If you want to find more CES coverage, go to revision3.com slash CES, and we would like to thank Ford for powering our CES coverage. Thank you. Brake Coach, found in the Ford Focus EV's instrument cluster, allows you to optimize your usage of the car's regenerative brakes. It displays a graphic that shows how much energy is captured each time you stop so that you can make adjustments to maximize your range. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.